I've had hopes and dreams and I've had disappointments. I've had good days and I've, I've had bad days. So, um, so I, I, I want to be, I want to be real with people, authentic with people. Um, even from an early age, I mean, I had, I had a lot of fears growing up and I was a bit of a perfectionist and, and the things I focused on um, were school and athletics. That was kind of our, my main focus. And so I just, I carried a weight, you know, a lot of times. And there was, you know, time, differently in times of crisis. I think the world, the world's challenging to live in to grow up in, whether you're, you know, whether you're a kid or you're an adult, you're a teenager, it's just, those challenges, like, po can point us to, to God, they can point us to mentors, to people, it can connect us, so I think th there's a purpose to those challenges. I'm not trying to just flip a switch and change them, because I, I know that personally hasn't helped me in my life, I, I, you know, I try not to have an agenda, I think the first thing I try to do is just hear their story, because they have a story, I want to I want them to be able to um, tell me what their thoughts are, tell me what their emotions are, and again, um, walk with them. Like my, I don't feel like my job is then to turn their sadness to joy in one session. You know, not everything I say, I'm expecting them to take and run with. Not everything I say is going to work, but I'm definitely, you know, trying to be a, an encouragement to them. I think that I'm a person that's really committed, you know first and foremost to God, but then to, to my own family, so to my own marriage and to my own kids. So again, that's, you know, that's what I carry with me. But just the, the understanding of that responsibility, the, the challenge of that responsibility, the difficulties, but also the, the joys of it.